uh, we came to this country um, 21 years ago for how beautiful this country was uh, and is. We loved it by watching American media and American education and American culture industry. We were disappointed in a few things we saw here, but we still felt this is our home. We still mm -hmm. feel this is our home. We gave this country everything we had. Um, to, to make it, to keep it a peaceful and loving country, I want everybody to pay attention. Um, if we don't consider this a hate crime, this can happen over and over again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your heart has to go out to the father of one of those slain, one of the three Muslim students from North Carolina slain. Welcome to Gimme Five. There is absolutely no indication that this was a hate crime. First of all, the categorization of hate crime is insane. It's ridiculous. It's abhorrent. But to call this a hate crime just because these, these victims were Muslim is, is ridiculous. In fact, I just saw what, uh, uh, something allegedly uh, posted, on, uh, uh, tweeted out or on his Facebook page from a couple of years ago or whatever, where, yeah, with the time that they were going to build the Ground Zero Mosque in New York City. He tweeted out against Christians defending the Muslims' right to build the mosque. Where are you getting the anti-Muslim hate from? We haven't heard of it yet. We haven't found it yet. Yet the media and the family and the friends are insisting this is a hate crime. Based on what? Here's more. With the media bombarding every American every day with news about what they call Islamic terrorism, none of which is Islamic at all, um, they're really preparing people for such tragedies and um, triggering them and provoking them. So the media, it's the media reporting on Islamic terror that's provoking what? Provoking what? If this wasn't a hate crime, and so far it's not, where's the, where's, the, where's the retaliation against Muslims in this country? There is none. You can't say there is none. Certainly, th th there's nothing rampant. When's the last case you heard? So please, please, don't use this and exploit this to turn it around. Islamic terror is Islamic terror. If this was a hate crime, he'll pay the consequences. And if it wasn't, by the way, he's still going to pay the consequences. He murdered three people. Now, Congressman Keith Ellison, a Muslim from Minnesota, here's his take. Boy, what a tragedy uh, this whole story is when you hear about the lives of these three students. Do you believe that they were targeted because they were Muslim? I think there are enough facts in the record to pursue that as a line of investigation. There certainly are some facts to indicate that this may, their religion may have been a factor. What? What facts in the record? What facts in the record, Congressman? Can you name us one? He hated all religions. He was an atheist. He was a leftist atheist, by the way, which most, most atheists are leftists. But where, where are the facts? Here's more. So I think that it's a very important that we pursue this and get to the bottom of it. I, I am confident, based on my review of the facts, that the parking uh, answer is certainly not the whole story. How do you know that? How do you know that? There's an investigation underway right now. No facts have come out except, like I said to you, he hated all religions and he, he bashed Christians with regard to the Ground Zero Mosque. Here's one more newspaper articles I've written and also people who I've talked to in North Carolina mm -hmm. who have told me that there was some history between the people that there may have been comments about um, there may have been some some comments referring to you know religious clothing or clothing associated with certain religious practice and you know it's not all, I, what I want to say is that it's prudent for us not to jump to a conclusion but it's also prudent for us to keep all options open including the possibility that it was a biased motivated crime. I just think that uh, I don't want anybody to jump to any conclusion. I want us to keep our minds open and follow the facts where they lead us. He said that the facts we know indicate that it could be, the people he's spoken to indicate it could be, blah, blah, blah. But I don't want to jump to any conclusions. I want to keep an open mind. That's very nice rhetorical trickery. He thinks it's a biased crime and he's trying to get you to think it's a biased crime. Your News Next Now updates next.